So what I'm working on is a little kit for uh, doing group theory. But what that really means is that it's all about looking at symmetries. So here I've got a triangle and the three corners of the triangle are labeled. They're labeled one, two, and three, these three different colors. And what I want to explore is what are the, what are the different ways that I can transform this triangle to uh, have those numbers be in different places, which sort of represents different symmetries of the triangle. So what do I mean by that? Well, I've got some cards here that represent different kinds of transformations. These are rotations, labeled with a little R. So what I'll do is I'll put one of these down, and then it wants a target. So I'm going to put a little blank sheet down here. And this is showing the story of a triangle that starts out like this, but then it rotates one notch clockwise, which I guess is 120 degrees clockwise. And this is showing how you get from here to there. But I can chain these. So for example, if I'm doing a rotation, uh, something that's kind of interesting about that is that I can do that a few more times and hopefully get back to where I started. So here I'm doing another rotation, another copy of the same sort of one notch rotation. And then I can put in a third rotation that's going to bring me back to where I started. And because there actually are three rotations needed to go back to where it starts, this all works out fine. If I had tried to do four rotations to get back to where I started, so I'm making a second, it shows that as red, which means that that's not actually, this rotation doesn't actually take you from here to here. These are the same triangle, so you can't rotate the triangle and uh, get back to where you start in the same way. Mm -hmm. so, so you've got like a, a triangle of rotations like this, which is pretty cool. Um, but rotations aren't all that you can do to these triangles. You can also flip them over. So I've got some cards here that say F for flip. And I can do the same sort of thing where I put them down and give them a target. So now that's showing what it means to take this triangle and flip it, which in this case means that the two and the three are going to swap. Mm -hmm. So um, I've got these flips and I've got these rotations. And one thing you might wonder about is what happens when I chain flips and rotations in different ways. So um, here, starting with this triangle, I'll, I'll clear this a little bit to make it simpler. Uh, here we've got a starting triangle and we're giving it a rotation and we're giving it a flip. Uh, we could also give it a flip after we did the rotation. So here we're doing the rotation. Now if we want to do a flip, we put that like this. So we're doing a rotation and then we're doing a flip. But how does that compare to if we did a flip and then we did a rotation? So I'm going to try to stick a rotation in here. And it's showing me that there's a problem because when I do this and then if I, if, if I flip and then I rotate, it gives me this two, three, one. But down here, after you just rotate, we've got the three at the top. So when we do the flip, or these, these are colliding. They're not, there's a red arrow here. They're, they don't match each mm -hmm. other the right way. Um, but if I remove this one and we take a look, we'll see that these two things at the top actually are related by a rotation, but uh, you don't rotate this one clockwise to get this one. You rotate this one counterclockwise to get mm -hmm. this one. So I'm going to put this in the opposite direction. And now it matches up. So there's this funny thing where um, the, the rotation and the flip, you can sort of swap the order, but you need to turn the rotation into the opposite direction of rotation, uh, which is an important property that these R's and F's have when you combine them. It's, it's one of the defining properties that say how they work together. Mm -hmm. So um, the last thing that I would sort of show with this is how you can take these and build a, uh, a sort of map of every possible position that the triangle can be in. So you could go back to that thing that I had before, which is these three rotations in a triangle. And then you could take each one of these and flip it. So I'm going to put a flip on each of these corners. getting pretty big. I need a lot of space for this. And now, 
on each of these sides, we have something that looks kind of like that square we had before. I'm not sure if that's clear, but we've got a rotation and then we've got two different kinds of flips. Uh, so that means that we can connect these two things on the outside with the rotation, but it needs to go in the opposite direction. So this one goes this way. This one is going to have to go in the opposite direction. So I need to kind of line these up in the right way. This kind of it's somewhat experimental sort of interface here. So, okay, there we go. So we've got that rotation going in the other direction as this inner rotation. And then I'll do the same thing on the uh, bottom. Here's a rotation. Oh, I'm sorry, I put a rotation here, I meant to put a flip. Um, oh, okay, and it's showing me the red arrow because I put this in in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. It's It's gotta go. On the inside, the rotations go around like this. On the outside, they go around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So. This takes more finesse than should really be required, but you know. Uh, or should, wanna, should that R be the uh, other direction? Uh, yes, yes, you're right, because these should not be going the same way. Thanks. Nice. So we've got the inner triangle going one way, we've got the outer triangle going the other way, and we've got the flips connecting the inner and outer ones. So this is what's called a, a Cayley diagram. And there's six nodes in this network, which are six different positions the triangle can be in. And hmm. if you think about it, how many ways are there to permute these three vertices? Uh, it, it ends up being like one of these factorial things where you can put three different things on the top, two different things in the next position, and then the last thing is the one left over. So it's three times two is six. So there's only gonna be six nodes. So we've, we've kind of explored using these Fs and Rs and we've got into the six different positions of the triangle. So this kind of captures all the different, all the different positions the triangle can be in. Mm -hmm. 